Hey guys, Spirit of the Law here. I've got some early access to Lords of the West with the two new civilizations. So I thought we'd give that a try and yeah, check them out. They're a little different actually than uh, what we heard about a month ago. So a couple changes. We'll look at the Burgundians first here. So first of all, of course, you get the economic upgrades a little bit earlier. So you can have double bit axe and get wheelbarrow if you really want it in Dark Age. So that seems a little silly to me. And one change they did make though and this is a pretty big one, is now it's stable technologies cost 50% less instead of knights giving back half their gold. So that's actually a pretty big change. And they've combined that with no bloodlines and also moving cavalier into the castle age, which initially sounds crazy. But when you think about it, it's basically just giving you bloodlines because it's plus 20 HP and then plus two attack. So you've kind of got like slightly better knights. It's kind of almost like plus two attack on your knights in castle age. So I don't know, I'm kind of curious about that change and how that's going to impact things. I think it's better than what they had before. And another thing, yeah, the last one is that the gunpowder units have plus 25% attack. So we didn't hear about that one. So they've actually changed a little bit. It seems maybe a little bit more balanced, I think, than what they are initially. And we'll just take a look here at the description. So something's uh, obviously wrong here. If you look at the HP, it says it has 944 HP. So that's obviously a bug. And you see, actually kind of low attack, eight attack and two armor, but it's got this, this powerful charge that it apparently does. So you have an attack that you charge, and so I'm kind of curious to see that. Actually, maybe I'll play the Burgundians. I kind of want to see how that works. And yeah, we will be playing a game in the second here. Oh, and the uh, team bonus that they added is that relics generate both gold and food. So a little slow trickle of food. That's interesting. I, I can't say you're usually too strapped for food in the late game, but I mean... Sure. And let's see, how's your siege? Okay, so the siege, not great. Uh, so archers, not that great in the late game. Okay, decent monks. And then obviously a really nice economy, especially with the uh, getting everything a little bit earlier. All right, and jumping over to Sicilians. So they, uh, that didn't change. The land units receive 50% less bonus damage. So I think that's from all sources like uh, hills and things like halberdier against cavalry. And nice siege uh, workshop for Sicilians there. Okay, really good on water. I guess you'd kind of expect that. Yeah, okay, so this is weird. So they have the donjon instead of a watchtower. So no watchtower, a whole, and all sorts of towers are gone except for the donjon. I wonder if they have. Uh, arrow slits. Yeah, they do. I wonder if that affects it. And so the donjon is instead of a watchtower and they can make their sergeant. Sergeants only have five attack though, so that's not that crazy. But to have towers that make military units in Feudal Age, uh, that's a concept. Seems kind of crazy. Okay, and then, oh yeah, so farm upgrades give 100% additional food. Uh, so I don't know, I think that means instead of like plus 75 food, it's going to give double that. It's how I'm interpreting that right now. Okay, and they've got a couple of these. I think we're going to play against Sicilians. <laughs> That's a funny team bonus. Uh, this might be a new candidate for for the worst team bonuses. Top five worst team bonuses. Uh, yeah, I think that's going to be at least an honorable mention. So yeah, we're going to try playing Burgundians here. I kind of want to see the how interesting the economy upgrades early feel. And oh yeah, for map, they've got a couple new maps. Uh, I can't say I'm feeling that adventurous. I suppose we could try this one. So, yeah, I was looking through them, and we've got the Afghan Clearing, we've got this one, Atacama, I'm not sure how to say it, Amazon Tunnel, it seems kind of good if you're almost like Michi feeling, or like an extreme black forest. And the other one was the Seize the Mountain one, so kind of like migration, except you can actually walk over it, you don't actually need a dock. Yeah, well, let's give this a try against the extreme AI. So I think the key is to go cavalry. Like, I kind of want to try the the Cavalier early. So maybe I'll open Scouts, go for a little bit of a boom. Well, Scouts and Boom don't really go together, I guess. Yeah, this map is also a little weird. So you can see we have all these tiny clumps of trees, and then I think the big forest is in the middle. Should have actually checked that out <laughs> in a little bit more detail. That's fine, we'll improvise. 
It's just the extreme AI, right? There's one boar at least. I assume we have usual resources here. All right, well, uh, I'm gonna risk it. We're gonna go for the middle. I think this is probably the middle. We've got sort of jungly looking things here. We'll try that. Yeah, so yeah, I'm not gonna grab wheelbarrow quite yet. I mean, wheelbarrow doesn't make sense until you have, I mean, it doesn't, you can't sell me on less than 30 pop when you get wheelbarrow. Uh, you can't even really sell me on less than 35 pop and getting wheelbarrow. Just like the numbers don't work out. Yeah, okay, let's explore the middle here, I guess. Oh, actually, I should really try at some point here to grab that. Okay, so we're getting the lumberjack upgrade. So, you know what? I'm not sure really fast beetle and scouts really make sense for this sieve. I feel like their fast castle boom is going to be incredible. We'll get one of you guys on the other side there. Okay, nine is a lot. Uh, and I'm almost just thinking like a naked fast castle. Hmm. Uh, it's actually kind of tempting. If I can grab some extra upgrades and stuff. Okay, let's grab an early horse collar. I think, yeah, I'm gonna delay going up a little bit, I think. Yeah, it's sort of more like a little maze of forests. I kind of thought it was more like Oasis. I kind of hope the AI actually tower rushes me with its donjons. I think that'd be kind of fun. Okay, let's see what else do we need. Uh, let's go. You know, I definitely don't need this many on wood, because now that I think about it, all these guys are working 20% better, aren't they? Okay, well, we'll try... We'll try going up here, see if we've got enough food. Alright, well, we got the food, I just don't have the wood to put down farms. That's alright. Uh, actually, we should get lots of food here pretty quick anyway. Alright, finally going up. Feudal Age. It's a little early. I'm a little worried about wood income. I'm really counting on my double bit axe here to save me while I'm advancing. I mean, I've got 14 on wood. That should be fine, right? But I gotta get some farms so I can actually... Uh, actually go straight through the castle. All right, what's he up to? Yeah, I should probably check if he's on stone, now that I think about it. He's on gold. And I say to check stone, obviously, because he's got his tower replacement. I'd be a little surprised if on day one, the AI knows how to do that. Oh, he didn't grab one of his boars. Am I on extreme? Yeah, I am, okay. Yeah, well, a bit of a sloppy game from the AI here. I'm missing one of its boar at least. Yeah, I probably should have grabbed these deer now that I think about it. I'm gonna try for a fast Bonjour. castle here. Alright, I don't know if I'm gonna have the food for this. Let's see. Okay, not a bad time. Should I try to lame the boar? Ah, that's fine. Man, if I just went scouts or archers, <laughs> yeah, I think he'd be kind of dead. Like, his wood lines are so exposed. Yeah, we're gonna have to do something pretty creative here with these markets, I think. Mm. Alright, how much creativity do I need here? Quite a bit. Ah, I'm just gonna make one more villager. I'm gonna mess that up. But by the time this is out, I think we should be good. Yeah, and then what's cool is as we're advancing, I can actually pick up these upgrades. Okay, come on, drop it off. Let's go. Yeah. 
Yeah, actually, I probably, instead of this... Yeah, that's fine. We're gonna go knights first. And then we're gonna do the castle a little bit later. You know, its score is actually keeping up. Hmm. Should I be concerned about that? I think it is also fast castling. In fact, I'm kind of hoping so. I'm looking a little exposed here at the moment. Yeah, let's grab that. Bonjour. I gotta be careful I'm not grabbing too many upgrades. I, I don't think I'm gonna... Yeah, I'm not gonna grab that till I get at least... Um, a stable. Honestly, grabbing that double bit axe, even on the way up to Castle H, I already kind of feel like it makes a difference. Alright, we're gonna go one stable, maybe double stable. I don't know if I can quite afford double stable. I think that's gonna one town center at first. Let's just go. Maybe double stable knights. I think that's the play for me right now. Yeah, and I'm just gonna go without walling. I mean, this is super sketchy right here, <laughs> but I'm sure it's fine. Yeah, let's get the armor upgrade. Ooh, let's get cavalier. I, mm, actually, no, that's a really slow upgrade, so let's get the knights first. Man, that's so nice. <laughs> yeah, having that first upgrade. Am I the sieve that gets double benefit from that? Oh, no, that's the other one. Okay. So, it feels like I have tons of food because I was able to grab horse collar before grabbing those. That's nice. This is a really strong sieve, guys. I, I do not want to play a generic sieve against this one. I mean, there's been some sloppy play here. And I'm feeling pretty good. Like, I'm gonna have Cavalier here in a couple minutes. Oh. What are you doing? Get out of here. Oh, come on. Yeah, there we go. Um, did I grab the attack upgrade? I might have been a little greedy. Alright, let's uh let's probe a little bit. A little bit of wood and I would like to get cavalier on these. I mean it's just so ridiculous I have 19 minute cavalier. There we go. Okay, so we might have some 20 minute cavalier coming in. <laughs> this is so crazy. Uh, yeah. Archers. Hmm. Okay, that's actually a lot of archers. Alright, I'll give him that. Um, maybe we'll grab some stone. I kinda wanna check out my unique unit here. Alright, I'm perfectly fine taking these. They maybe need the second armor upgrade. Man, Cavalier is a slow upgrade. Alright, I thought I was gonna have these by 20 minutes, not so much. That's fine. I don't need that. Okay, so what other upgrades? Let's see. Oh, I should probably get this one really quick. Alright, Cavalier. I'm at 20 and a half minutes after not the best fast castle in my life. So stats wise, you know what? They're not that much better. There's just two attack more than a regular knight. It's definitely a psychological thing going on though. Although the AI doesn't succumb to psychological warfare. Uh, yeah, this is kind of... 
it's yeah, it just looks so weird to me. <laughs> An Imperial Age unit against feudal units. Alright, let's grab that. Yeah, he's in trouble. Alright, AI, I think it might be time. I think it's that time for the resign. Alright, well maybe I can just... Uh, hopefully it's enough. Come on. Uh, okay, 617 stone. Not quite enough. Oh, look at that castle. Right there, right on top of that hill. <laughs> Alright, yeah, easy to stay on top of your your eco upgrades. You get a few chances in between ages to make sure you're grabbing the ones. Yeah, I think archers was the wrong call. Although I don't know, what's it gonna do? Like scouts against cavaliers? I do think the cavalier strategy might not be as strong as it seems. Because like really you're only getting bloodlines. I mean regular knights with bloodlines that have 120 HP. And I just have 12 instead of 10 attack. Oh, I'm glitching out there. <laughs> all right, and let's, uh, what was my castogenic tech again? Convert all food into gold. Uh, that's okay. Yeah, so Custier. Or something, <laughs> something vaguely like that, maybe. You know what? Just on principle, I'm not going to get crop rotation here. Oh, look at this. He's got a little charge up. Okay. No, no, no. Oh, no. Let me use the charge. Okay. Well, I mean, you couldn't really tell. Oh, come on. I should have done the 104 thing. Yeah, so you can see now it's charge is out on that attack. Whereas this guy has got the charge. You can see it. it's, yeah, kind of like a monk. Just actually, yeah, the same bar as a monk. And so you get every once in a while this incredible attack. So that's interesting. Does it say how much it is? Uh, where is it? Here we go. No, it just says some in charges attack. Okay, well that's interesting because you got to be a little careful. You can see somebody having a whole bunch of those all charged up and then you throw in, you do a bunch of overkill on something like a pikeman. So I can see these guys being really good against something like other heavy cavalry. But again, just for that like initial charge, you got to come in, you got to take them all out all at once. Interesting. Okay, well I feel like we didn't really get to see the Sicilians there all that much. So I think I'm going to... We can go back and we're gonna play Sicilians this time. Alright, now let's try Sicilians. Incoming Taurash. Okay, yeah, so wait. Right. Honestly, I feel like they don't have a lot going for them except for I mean look at that. Cavalry. I guess it's okay. Um, so yeah, aside from late game siege, obviously water, they're great. And their donjon rush. I don't know if they got a lot going for them. It's maybe just my hot take, but yeah, I don't know. I don't really feel like they're great at archers or cavalry. Yeah, because hang on, these guys are how much? 60 food, I think. And 35 gold. Oh, I'm not even taking gold yet. I mean, it's okay, because these guys have to build a tower first. They won't build it like <laughs> right this face. Okay, so there we go. Oh, it's even the same hotkey as tower. Nice, I like that. Because we can afford this. Yeah, I should have been grabbing gold a little bit earlier. Got it, had a gold cost. I was just thinking about its food cost. And the fact that, I mean, you save so much wood, not needing a barracks or anything like that. 
All right, incoming first dawn, John. And I feel like these villagers can just peace out now. Let's bring them back. Uh oh. I didn't realize he would see it already. Oh, come on, dude. Don't actually try to fight me. Come on. All right, so here we are. We got five attack, 45 HP. That's not great. But he can build another one of these. This is so ridiculous. Oh, whoops, not paying attention. Uh, actually, hold that first, would you? Oh, <laughs> That's funny. I don't know why that looks so funny, but seeing a military unit actually building. Very comical to me. I mean, doing this against the AI is kind of bad manners. I'm just trying this out, though. And like I said, I really feel like this is the only good strategy they've got. And I need some more stone. You know, I really don't need wood here. Oops. Ooh, defensive tower. Okay, so wait, I got 1,000 HP. You've got 700. So it's even stronger than a regular tower. Okay. Oh wait, how much does it cost though? Is it more than a regular tower? Oh, it is. Okay, that makes sense. I was kind of wondering why it was out of stone so quickly. Oh, it's like more than a regular tower. By like a lot. All right, that. Okay, that seems way more balanced. So what is it? Mm, Two hundred stone. Okay, and seventy-five wood. Okay, so I'm gonna be short on wood as well. Okay, well I like that. That actually makes more sense. Guys are very slow. <laughs> All right, well, let's uh, give him one of these. Okay, it's maybe not as broken as I was thinking, but let's be honest, this is pretty broken. Uh, okay, that wasn't very smart. Because like, there's no way his villagers can fight this off. And now this thing can just create... I mean, I know it's the AI, so a real player might react better to this. But this is tough to fight, man. This is like the new Incas. I kind of want to see these guys against Incas. Uh, I think that's actually tougher than the Inca villagers. I think they're pretty similar to Inca villagers. The thing is, though, uh, with this, you don't, you're not missing out on work time for your villagers. It's gonna bug me. Don't do that. I mean, they, yeah, like they build each other, and once you get one of them, you can just send the villagers back. You don't actually have to fight with the villagers. I got enough for another one. Oh, fuck. Weird spot. oh, notice that. So I can place it down in the fog of war, even though there's a building in the way. Oh, they changed that. Interesting. You know, this is too pure armor might be too strong. Like, because you can't counter these with archers now. That's brutal, man. This is tough. Hey, did they take one of those out? Um, anybody out there? Again, you guys can, like, garrison, right? Yeah, but not for extra arrows. Uh, so, yeah, they're not that crazy. I mean, you are kind of overpaying for a tower here. I mean, they're a little stronger. Oh, man, this builds your... 
This village rush is actually getting me. <laughs> oh, fuck. I asked you guys, I swear they're slower than villagers. Okay, well, we might need. Uh, somehow this is failing slightly. Oh no, now I'm gonna go for this one. Guys, stop it. Stop it. I'm just trying to try silly strategies. You're like, I'm gonna try hard on me. Yeah, change my mind. This is underpowered. I must buff. Man. Yo, I'm just gonna rebuild it. You know that, right? Amazing how little wood I've needed this game. Okay, well it turns out you kind of have to babysit these things a little bit. So it can be... I mean, the villagers can surround this, so the larger size actually makes it a little bit more weak to villagers. Okay, must remember... Alright, let's chase down this thing. You know, if he goes castle, he might be in trouble. Okay, get out of here. Yeah, so same range as the tower. Same attack. Alright, but... It's definitely an interesting, very all-in strategy. I'm not looking forward to fighting against this myself. Uh, yeah. Again, like, what else do you do with them? I guess you could go crossbows. But you just, you don't have anything, any other early bonus, it feels like. And the creation time is really quick. Hmm. Okay, I think we're going to have to go up to the next age, though, if we want to actually end this. Oh, actually, no, 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 hang on. We want uh, their castle. We want their unique tech. It's interesting they don't attack it as it's being built. They only attack it once it's already up. Oh, I can repair it with them. Okay. I wonder if this would be better if they couldn't repair them. Because I don't know how you bring these down if they can repair it. Oh, he's going to resign anyway. Okay, well, I was going to go up and I was going to try their castle, but... Honestly, I feel like I saw what I need to see with this. It's, uh... It's pretty strong. I, I'm pretty scared to fight that with somebody uh, who's practiced that a little bit and knows... I, Yeah, like, you can do this so early. And again, it's different than the Incas because you don't have to leave four villagers forward permanently. It's just you go forward, you build one of them, you send them back home, and it can just... You know, it's self-sustaining at that point. And especially because, like, they won't actually drop this on you. They'll probably put it back a little bit, so you don't even know it's there. So you have to really scout for these. Although it kind of helps that you know it's coming. But, yeah. Hmm. I'm not sure what Civ I, I think is stronger. I think both of them are actually incredibly strong. <laughs> okay, so wait. That was a 27-minute game, and I stayed in feudal the whole time. Actually, I foresee that a lot with this Civ, <laughs> now that I think about it. Just really, really messy games. Really, really late castle ages. 
those are the two new civs. Hopefully you guys are kind of excited to try those out. Thinking about it, I think the Burgundians might be a little bit more my favorite just because, man, Cavalier against feudal units, it just looks so ridiculous. I don't know. Either way, I mean, I have to say they're they're very, very strong, but they are fun civs to play and certainly mix things up in a couple of interesting and unique way. So that's all for this one, guys. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.